Hello, beautiful ladies of my heart. I'm so glad you're here. Today's tutorial, of course, is the yays and nays from October and newbies coming for next month. So let's just dive right in. Let's go into the ipsy from last month. Okay, I finally figured out how to pronounce, pronounce how to pronounce C-I-A-T-E. It's Ciate London Watermelon Burst Hydrating Lip Oil. Now, is that something I'd buy again? No. Um, I have a lot of lip oils, but this one's nice, you know, and it's purse size. So all of these are little travel size or things that if I don't buy them again, I still use them, if you know what I mean. Okay. Benefit Cosmetics, the Professional Super Setter Pour Minimizing Setting Spray. Again, it was okay. I already have setting spray. Um, I don't have large pores, so I don't usually have that issue. That's um, my MAC, and I love it. And then, Koki Professional Gel Ink Dual Ended Eyeliner and Amethyst and Matte Black. Okay, that's okay too. Um, I don't really, I can't really tell that it's purple on my eyes. You know, it looks more black. So, would I buy it again? No, but I'll use it. Then the Bow Bay Beauty Deep Bronzing Highlighter. Uh, that one, <laughs> that was too much for this woman's face. It's more for the youngins. So I regifted that to my granddaughters. And then last but not least of that is First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. Love it. Very, very nice. Would I buy it again? Yes. But at this moment, I have so much products that I was <laughs> given to. If you saw my Ipsy reveal this month, you would have seen all the beautiful stuff that my gorgeous girlfriend from California gave me. And I, so I'm trying all that out. Plus she gave me hair products and everything. I haven't even shown them all to you. Then when I went to Portland for my birthday to see my, uh, Travis, my son, Travis and his family, they introduced me to this beautiful woman named Paula and she owns a company and actually makes the products, the formulations of these products. And her company is called Oli Oso. And here's some of the products that she gave me. And I graciously gifted me, and I'm very excited to try it. Her base product is olive oil, so it, it just goes a long ways. And I think that's because she's Italiano. Anyway, I'm giving that a fair try. I've only been using it for a week, but I've noticed, I've noticed a change already. So I use that at night, and then I'm going to use the Korean products in the morning. I'll give my honest review on both next month. Okay, enough of that. All right, let's go to a couple. <laughs> All right. Here's a yay. Remember I said I didn't like this fluff fluff brush, but I actually do because of it's tapered in. It really helps when I'm using powder in, in places that I don't want, you know, just like on the side of my nose. What I just didn't give it a fair chance. So I'm liking this now. It's going back in my to use pile. Okay, so I'm really loving this R&R, uh, Undefined R&R Tinted Sunscreen, SPF 50. It's got these plus plus ratings. It's a mineral sunscreen. It goes on beautifully and does not affect how my makeup goes on afterwards, my foundation. So that's a key. Okay, I'm on the fence about this sexy hair, this powder to help plump up your hair. Um, it, it works, but I don't like the texture. It makes your hair feel dirty. It does do what it's supposed to, but I, I, you know, I'm not impressed with that. So I don't know. Um, I'll, I'll just keep it in my travel bag in case I need a quick puff up and don't care if my hair feels dirty. All right, then this Milani um, primer, eye primer that I got, it is just too watery. It doesn't really uh, cover up the dark color on my eyes or the veins. So it's just... It's just not my favorite for that kind of thing. I'm still loving just using a light concealer. So I'm still just loving this NYX here. It's just a, it covers, but it's not, you know, cakey or any of that. So I'm really loving that. And then I bought this with my prime, my prime day. And I was going to do a prime day of all the stuff I bought, but I, um, now I can't remember all of it I bought. I could go out and look it up, but I don't want to. But anyways, Lang. Laneige, Laneige, I don't know what it's called. I got this on the Prime Dale deal, and it's very nice um, lip mask. But for the for the cost, I really like my pawpaw that has the lip scrub in it on one end, and then this beautiful balm on the other. 
you know, this is about $10 and this is 20 something. So there's a lot in it. But would I buy it again? No, no. But I'm using it, okay, because I purchased it. All right, now let me tell you about some new stuff that's coming. Oh, wait, first I forgot. Okay, there was this that I used and I said it was really nice and it is really nice. This Be Fresh um, Body Serum. Yeah, body serum. Okay. Anyway, it's very nice. But I went to the farmer's market here uh, a couple of weeks ago and I fell in love with this company, or a local company here in Boise, Rustic River Soap Company, Green Apple, Shea Butter, and Aloe Vera Body Lotion. Rustic River Soap. I'll put a link to them for you because they are just, they make the soaps too. They had a candy cane one. They have the green apple. They have citrus. They have lemon. They have so many. And they have, you put it in a little bag and scrub yourself in it. You're just so clean. So squeaky clean. But this, you know, it's this little creamy stuff. Oh my gosh. You just feel like you were hydrated the minute you put it on. I mean, your skin just feels lovely. So I am absolutely loving this. So that's my new favorite this month. And then, of course, if you saw my last video, uh, I'm loving this e.l.f. It's a brow gel and a eyelash uh, gel that's in clear. Because I don't put anything on my lower lashes. I, I do get, if I do, then I get all black underneath. So I do this, and it spreads them out and gives them definition. So I'm really loving this. Then I purchased e.l.f.'s uh, Putty color corrector in this little peach. I think I showed it to you. It's very nice, very uh, very creamy. It goes on, doesn't separate, but it just it goes on really easy. That's it, ladies. That was it for my yays and nays this month. I'm gonna have so much next month. It's not even funny, so it might go a little bit longer or I'll spread it out somehow. But thank you for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful week. The weekend's coming up. I'm sure I'll have a special presentation. Keep those uh, suggestions coming. Please hit the like and subscribe. It's so very helpful for me and it helps me know what you want so I can come back and deliver. Well, as well as your suggestion. <laughs> anyway, take care. Lala out.